The Kentucky Theater has been opening its doors to moviegoers since 1922, but those doors have been shut since last October when large gatherings during the pandemic became challenging. But there is good news. The theater is now under new management and they have plans to reopen later this fall. As LAX 18's Michael Burke reports, a grand reopening is not the only thing they've got in store. That's tonight's big story at 530. It's a big task ahead. They call him Mr. Kentucky. He's got the tie around his neck to prove it. And now the Kentucky theater he cherishes is back in his hands. It's exciting. The question is, is there an opening date? Today, Mayor Linda Gordon stood under the theater's marquee and handed management reins over to the friends at the Kentucky theater. Mr. Mills will be their general manager. It's been dark inside here once the pandemic showed up on the silver screen and kept playing reruns. During that time, prior management scripted their exit. Part of that group decided that they did not want to come back. Well, fortunately, the friends of the Kentucky had been thinking that a day like this might happen. And they were prepared when it did happen. Now they've got some big plans for when it reopens, they hope on December 1st. And those include movies skewed towards a younger generation, live musical performances, and here's the big one that could officially stamp Lexington as a destination for the arts. With at least seven screening venues in and around downtown Lexington, we think Lexington is ripe for an international film festival. The plan is to operate as a nonprofit, and to do that, the theater will offer annual memberships. The more you go, the more you save. And the more you go, the more the downtown area will reap the rewards. When I used to go here, I ate out before I went to the theater. It will drive economic uh, impact. It will have a ripple effect. It's not very different from the effect today's announcement had on Mr. Kentucky. It's a very good feeling. Get your popcorn ready for December 1st. In Lexington, Michael Burke, LEX 18 News. The Air Board members say December's reopening is contingent on how we are doing as a community in the battle against coronavirus. It's likely certain safety measures will have to remain in place when they do open those doors in a few months.